today I will go over an exercise to build strong and resilient shoulders. This is an exercise I use with many of my own students. Unilateral external rotations. Start in a seated position similar to the one you see here and prop the ipsilateral elbow onto the knee. Rotate the torso to face towards the front and while maintaining full scapula retraction and depression or as full as you can make it, allow the arm to come down and up in a controlled manner. In this angle, you can see that the elbow and the two shoulders are in one line with each other in this variation. So you're going to have to really rotate the torso to face the front and we want the arm to come down in a straight manner. We don't want an angle where the weight would come inward or outward, just straight down, straight up. We want to choose a weight that is challenging, yet one that we can maintain all of these qualities. If the quality is lost, then we reduce the weight. Use a tempo that allows you to control both the eccentric and the concentric. For the eccentric, we'll use a count of five, and for the concentric, we'll use a count of three. So we have one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three. And maintain this tempo across all reps, all sets. If you cannot maintain this tempo, then the weight is too high. We reduce the weight so we can maintain all of the qualities. We don't want the weight to come up too fast or for us to not control a certain aspect of the exercise. Now into some common mistakes. Throughout the exercise, do not allow the scapula to elevate or to protract. You can be in front of a mirror or film yourself to maintain this quality. It is very common for people to be able to maintain this quality at the top, but then to lose it at the bottom, as you can see here. If this is the case, then we reduce the range of motion while maintaining full scapula retraction and depression. So you can see I'm not going as deep, but I'm maintaining the scapula position. This is much more important than increasing the range. Over time, the range will open and we can get deeper and deeper, but for right now, reduce it and maintain high quality. allowing the arm to abduct. So as you can see, as I perform the concentric, my elbow lifts off the knee. Actively press the elbow down into the knee to try to avoid this. Losing control or using momentum. We do not want to use as much weight as we possibly can. We want to use a challenging weight that we can do with all of the qualities mentioned in this video. If you are making any of these common mistakes, most likely you will have to reduce the weight. Don't worry about using the pink dumbbells, they are good for us. We are not trying to impress anyone, we are trying to improve ourselves. Into programming, if you do not have any injury to the shoulder, I would recommend doing this post strength training for six to 10 repetitions, three to five sets, with 60 to 90 second rest between sets. If you do have a shoulder injury, then we want to decrease the intensity and increase the volume. So I'd recommend one set pre-practice, three to five sets post-practice, and this should be done four to seven times per week. So not just after strength training. We would do more repetitions, 12 to 15, so that we can decrease the amount of weight that we use and get more blood into the area. Minimal rest should be used between sets. One last note, this position here with the arm at a right angle, is one of the most unstable positions we can put our shoulder. There are many stories of people hurting their shoulder by scratching their head, putting up their hoodie, tying their hair, because it goes into this position, so it's important to strengthen it. Leave any questions in the comments down below. Thanks for watching, and that's the session. Hey.